this this is really impressive. This is what, 130 people or so here. Can I just get a big round of applause for yourselves for all turning up on a Saturday morning? That's great. <laughs> Um, and just reinforcing this, I've done basically nothing for all this. I'm just up here taking the credit for it all, which is great fun. Um, so let's get another round of applause for the organisers, Magda and her team, who put a huge amount of work in Ukraine today. Okay, so, Measure Camp, book arrest. Who knows what's about to happen? You're lying. <laughs> we have no idea what's about to happen today. Um, who's talking, what topics, I mean, great suggestions. We have no idea what's about to happen. And that's part of the fun of it. So we asked before, who, who has not been to an unconference? Has not been? Most of you. Who's hung over right now? <laughs> Good to see you. Um, so an unconference is, this. This all started about eight years ago, um, when you had this country lad from a small little fruit farm back in rural Australia, um, who thought he had all these great ideas, great opinions, and yet no one would let him speak at a conference. It was really frustrating. I want to share my ideas with the world. I couldn't do it. And so, well basically, I got a few friends drunk and talked them to saying yes to help me out to actually create my own conference. And that was Measure Camp. Because I've been at these events before, these uncoffs events before. I've been dragged along by a friend to this thing called Bar Camp. And it was mostly developers. More geeks than I were, and I was a bit scared of the whole thing, but it was, it, was a week, it was on a weekend, and they actually camped at the venue for the whole weekend. And anyone could talk about any topic at all. It was just sort of, I mean, almost they said, if you're here, you have to give a talk. Okay, this, this is intense, it's different and really fun. And I wanted to give talks, so I gave a talk, and I had two people turn up. Mum was my friend who had dragged me there, so I had one person only. And that was my introduction to an unconference. But I enjoyed the whole day, then I went to a, a product camp, an event, an unconference for product <coughs> managers. Then a social media camp, social media people, and to tweet camp, all about Twitter. And I loved the enthusiasm, the excitement, just the, the whole chaos of the day made it really appealing to me. And so the time when I got my friends drunk was the chance to bring that, that, that chaos, that enthusiasm, to my own community. And did it the first time, we had no idea at all what we are doing, seriously. We, we had never run events before, didn't know how to do the thing. We found a venue, organised food from the cafe across the road, um, put things on Eventbrite for tickets, and people started signing up for it. And the first time someone said, I've booked my flights, booked my accommodation, I went, shit, what's happening now? We have to do this properly. And somehow, 130 people turned up. And they're in sessions, and people put their own ideas on the board. And then I was in the first session, and someone asked a question. And someone else gave their point of view, answered the question, not the speaker. And I went, this is working. This is, this is what it's meant to be about. This is, this is how Measure Cam and Unconference works. When people are freely trading the ideas back and forth between each other. And about the fifth measure camp in London, this guy said from Paris went, this is really fun. Can we do it back in Paris? I went, yeah, cool, go for it. Keep the rules. It's about the community, not about yourselves. It's um, on a weekend, it's free to attend. So you're not making money out of this, you're doing it for the community. I went, cool, that's fine. I went, hey, bye. invite me along as well, I wanna be there, it's be fun. I didn't realize this, I only speak French, it's really annoying. <laughs> Couldn't understand a word. They couldn't understand me either. Shocking. <laughs> Apologies now for the fast speaking, the Australian accent. Um, and it went from there. It went from Paris to Hong Kong. It went all around Europe. Um, it's, I went back to Australia for a wedding. So we ran one there as well in Melbourne. It's Melbourne and Sydney and Auckland now. It's in the US. Um, and it's getting bigger and bigger. I think this is number 82, I think, in the world roughly, um, and next year it's going to go to Montreal and Austin in Texas and Lyon in France and hopefully Helsinki and Budapest and Dubai, you are now part of the biggest analytics event worldwide, so welcome for that. 
Um, a couple more questions for you. How long, so who here is actually an analyst? Cool, that's about 40% the analysts saying here. Who here works in digital marketing, <coughs> SEO, PPC? Again, about 40%. Any developers? <coughs> cool, you've said yes to everything. <laughs> <laughs> The accent is, <laughs> put your hand up. <laughs> um, uh, conversion rate optimization. People there as well, cool. Um, product management, a couple. So we're seeing here, different experiences, different questions, different points of view. That's great. Who's brand new to analytics in their first sort of year? A few people. Be nice. <laughs> Be nice to me, be nice to you, Krista. Um, who's been doing it for like one, two years? All right, everyone's shy now. Who's three to five years? A few more people. Uh, six to 10 years? 11 to 15? More than 15 years in analytics? <laughs> Not here today, there are some people out there, these yeah, old men in the field. Um, and our elite. <laughs> um, and what we're seeing there again is like the range of experiences. People in the room are just starting off, and people who are old hacks like me, you know, for a long time, a bit jaded, have lost the enthusiasm a bit. It's the whole point here. You've got analysts, you've got developers, digital marketing people. You've got people who are new to analytics, people with very experienced analytics. Different opinions, different questions, different answers. The whole point of today is to learn from each other. If you're experienced, learn from the new people. Learn what they're asking. If you're new to analytics, ask the old farts how they do things, what mistakes they've made. Learn from mistakes and try to avoid making them yourself. That's the whole point of today. As Megan was saying, anyone can give a session today. It can be a presentation, discussion, game show, anything goes. It can be technical on how to, how to use a certain feature in analytics. It can be, as before, um, how to pitch to clients, how to tell a good story. I'll wear a session sometimes today, analytics therapy. Come along in a safe place with your peers, share your pain, your frustrations with the world, let them out. Everything works today, and the discussions, to be honest, are usually the best sessions, where you can discuss with 20 people, with three people, the topic you find most interesting, most useful, you can learn the most from. The biggest regret I hear at the end of mesh camp, people go, this other day I was a bit hungover, definitely scared, it was going to happen, I had a great time, it was really fun, I learned a lot, made some new friends, it was brilliant. Wish I had run a session though. Next time, definitely, can I do it again? I'll do it next time, I was, I was too scared today. Please try and get over that. It is terrifying to run a session for the first time, particularly if you've never spoken in public before. But it's the biggest thrill and biggest thing I've ever today. Push yourself to do a session. It is definitely worthwhile doing. People will turn up, they'll be interested, they'll want to learn more. Um, I want to mention quickly as well, the rule of two feet. It's a simple rule. If you're in a session and it's not quite right for you, it's too advanced, too basic, um, a different topic to what you thought it was, it's fine at an unconference at a mission campus, say, sorry, not quite right for me, to walk out, go to a session where you can learn more and get more from it. Please do this, it makes the whole day better. If you're in a session and it's a great discussion, really interesting, respect the speaker, let them guide this, the discussion. If they, that's brilliant. I'll do this instead, respect that. And your topic, which was much more interesting, of course, that's great. Put it on a card, put it on the board, bring it back later in the day. That's how the day works. If your session is just too long, it's, you can't do it in 25 minutes, that's fine. Double it up, make it two sessions in a row. Everything works today. And that's with a bit of chaos, we create a whole new room out of nowhere for some less discussions. I mean, you might find if someone goes, I'm not a good speaker, this is a boring topic, no one's going to talk to my session at all, I'll choose the smallest room and go into the lounge for a little discussion. 
and 50 people turn up because it's actually really interesting. They're a great speaker. We want to learn from them. We may just switch them around and put them to a bigger room. Some things will go horribly wrong today. It's going to happen at some point. It always does. The very first mission camp in London, I was meant to order pizza for lunch, and I forgot. <laughs> Disastrous. No one noticed. We had plenty of food. It was great, apart from me. That'll happen today. No one noticed. It'll look so smoothly run. It'll be great. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, the one thing we'll be strict on though, in case you didn't mention this, is the timings. If you sort of ask, hopefully you get a five minute warning to say time's running up, then time's done. And there's only five minute gaps between sessions. We'll rush back, session board, what's on next. When you get asked to stop speaking, please stop speaking, let it go, do it again later on. That's the one thing we strict on today. And that's about enough of me waffling on. We want to get things started. Um, final thoughts, please, like I said before, run a session, think of a topic you want to discuss today, put it on the board, be thing you can do. Apart from that, wherever else you are, ask questions, give your points of view, don't fight over things. Arguing is okay, respectfully. If you talk about attribution, how great it is, I will come along and I will disagree with you, be aware of that. Uh, and most of all, have fun, enjoy yourselves. Thank you very much. Thank you.